When selling your house, it's a very important decision and choosing an agent that is going to make it worth what you're paying is also very important. So if you want to know a little bit more about what I offer to my sellers, then this is the perfect video for you because I'm about to give you the rundown of my let's get your home sold guide. So stay tuned. Hello, my name is Casey Gray. I'm your homegirl broker associate here in Ukiah, and I love listing houses. It's my favorite part. Everything from the staging to the marketing to the negotiating. I have all my systems in place and I love being able to service listings and I am going to take you a little bit deeper into my listing guide and give you a little bit of a brief overview of what we cover at a listing appointment and yeah. Let's get started. So this is my handy dandy guide. The only thing that it's missing is the comps. So when you tell me your address and anything that you've done to the house, I go in and I find some comps for your home, some comparable properties that have sold, that are active, that are going to be our competition. And I include those so that I can give you an understanding as to what your home is worth before we you know, agree to list it because my main goal and priority is to help you get your house sold for as much money as possible as quick as possible. So it's super important to me that you understand the whole process from beginning to end and also understand the facts and the stats and are knowledgeable about what you're about to get yourself into. So starting out, um, first you're going to obviously meet with a professional, me, duh, and it's super important to understand who you're getting into contract with, whether it's me or someone else, you want to make sure that you connect well with the person, you communicate well with the person, and they help you understand the process. There are a ton of clients out there and not everyone is fit for every single person. And I am completely okay with that. There's been plenty of times where I've gone into a listing presentation and did not jive well with the sellers and I decided to not take the listing. Just because I can, it doesn't mean that I want to or that I'm going to deal with someone being, you know, negative or not taking my advice. My job here is to help you understand everything and for you to ideally listen. So if, if you don't feel comfortable taking advice from me, then, you know, I'm not your girl, clearly. <laughs> so the process, of course, you know, you're going to meet with a professional, you're going to understand the stats, and then you're going to decide on a price. So once we decide on a price, then we get your house ready for the market. And once your house is ready for the market, then we list it. Then it goes live, then we bring the buyers in, then we accept the offers, and then it's time to negotiate. Once we negotiate, we are under contract and we then have to navigate that whole process, which can be challenging if you have an agent that doesn't understand what's going on or you don't have a team player of an agent. There have been so many transactions where I've been on the buyer's side and the agent is just doing everything in their power to make this deal not work, it seems like, and that is the exact opposite of what I do. And then we go into, you know, some final details. We get your loan paid off and we get the house sold and then we have closing day. So it seems super simple, but it can be very challenging if you have an agent that makes selling your house a full-time job. As a realtor, my full-time job is to help you. So you don't have to worry about putting all the work into selling your house. So in this page, there's a little bit more in-depth information into the listing guide and, you know, just some more details as to, you know, kind of what I just covered. Um, and then of course you want to know a little bit about me. I am 22 years old at the time of this video. It's being recorded on Saturday, 1259. August 15th, I got my associate degree in real estate business management and business entrepreneurship from the Mendocino College and completed that in 2008. 
16. I was rookie of the year my first year in real estate both through the North Bay Association of Realtors for the Bay Area and also my company and in 2017 I was the volunteer of the year for Ukiah Valley Networking. So far I've closed over 12 million dollars in sales. I've closed over 18 different transactions and been able to sponsor and donate to the Humane Society and Mendo Shelter Pet Rescue over $7,000. So this is something that is super. So that's a little bit more about me. If you want to know more about me, there's plenty of videos on what I like to do for fun and all that fun stuff on my YouTube channel, so definitely go check those out. Then you'll get to see a little bit about what my clients say about me. Um, you know, I've had plenty of satisfied clients over the years. Obviously, as a seller, you know, as a consumer, you don't want to go eat somewhere, go get your hair done somewhere that you haven't checked out all of the reviews for. So, you know, I provide these reviews so they are easy for you to see. And then if you have any other questions about, you know, past transactions, I am an open book. So, like I said earlier in a couple of sentences, um, I love systems, I love checklists, and I know that selling your house is not an off a thing that people do often. So, it's important to me to make sure that you have all of the checklists and systems that you might ever possibly need when selling your house. So, everything from preparing for pictures, preparing for open houses, and preparing to close, and a lot more. But this helps me give you and a seller right down the street the same exact experience so no one is missing anything and also the buyers that are purchasing your house and also the buyers that are purchasing your house it makes it a lot more smoother when there's less bumps in the road because after dealing with so many transactions I know common things that go wrong and so I've been able to put that into systems so that you understand exactly what to do and what not to do before it happens. So the formula for a successful home sale is this three-step formula. Market preparation, relentless marketing, and strategic pricing. Those three things are so, so important. So I'm gonna cover a little bit about why they're important and what I do as your listing agent to help you through that process. Market prep. Buyers decide in the first eight seconds if they love the home or not. So it's your job as a seller to take a step back and view the home like you would if you're viewing it for the first time ever. What are the issues? What is wrong? What can we fix? How can we make this look like a home that is effortless. It's minimal cleaning, there's minimal chores, and something and a house that's going to make a client just want to live here. So I help sellers understand the low cost repairs that offer high returns. So to get that, you'll know you'll have to give up some info and um, I'll be able to help you and consult you with everything from paint to landscaping to carpets and rugs and duvet covers and all that fun stuff. I have an in-depth checklist to what you need to do before pictures. Like I said before, I do not just take on any listing. If a seller isn't willing to put in the effort to make their house ready to show and ready for pictures, then we are not a good fit. It's my job as your agent to make sure your home is looking as best as possible. And I can't really do that if you're not willing to put in the work. So I, of course, have that checklist for you that you'll receive to make sure that your house is ready to go before pictures. And then that also leads to still market prep, but staging. Staging, it can be super important if the house is vacant. Even if the house is filled with things, there are simple things that we can switch out to make it look like a dream to live in. And so that's one of the things that I offer that not a lot of agents do offer. Of course, like everything, there are pros and cons, but I will help you outweigh those decisions and help you execute the perfect staging to make sure that your house is looking better than any house on the market. Now on to step two of my process, relentless marketing. So marketing is so, so important. Over 53% of people searching for a house start their search on the internet, which is a ton. The people, the amount of people that actually buy a house that they see 
on the internet first, not just driving by or not just, you know, word of mouth is like 95%. So everyone is looking on the internet and it's important that we are putting our best foot forward and also getting it out there to people that aren't looking online um, or are looking online. The truth is every single listing that goes on the MLS is syndicated and less chosen to not. So that means every single listing goes to Zillow, goes to Trulia, goes to every single IDX powered website. But it's my job to take it a step further and put it on other social media platforms, on different sales platforms, in front of each agent to make sure that they are working their hardest to find a buyer for that house. So, like I said, systems and processes. I have this whole marketing plan right here that goes in depth into every single thing that I do while your house is on the market. So that's everything from postcards to 360 tours to virtual marketing and weekly promotions and so much more. So it's my job as your agent, you know, to provide the best value as possible. And um, like I said, every single one of my sellers gets the exact same experience. Of course, one of the things that I offer is photography and not just photography because plenty of agents are offering photography. Um, of course, I'm offering, you know, vir virtual tours, 360 walkthroughs, video media, and so much more, a personal website for your property. And when the photographer comes, I don't just unlock the door for him and let him in. I make sure that everything is perfect and the pictures all turn out great and, you know, everything including the trash can is put away and everything else. And then on to the last part is strategic pricing. So pricing is super important as a house. If your house isn't selling, it's a couple of different things, which is price, number one, um, lack of marketing or, you know, quality marketing and condition. The condition of the home is just not good enough for the buyers, but likely it's price. So it's super important that you have an agent that's honest and upfront with you about the pricing. A lot of sellers get a number in their head and that's what they feel comfortable with. And a lot of agents just accept that because they're afraid of losing out on the listing. So it's important that you have an agent that provides you with the stats and the facts so that you can make an informed decision and not just off of what you want to get out of the house or what you feel like you deserve to get from the house. So there are a couple of things that determine the price of your home. One being recent comparable sales. So like I said, facts and stats. And the second thing being the market conditions. You know, it's important that you have an agent that understands if we're in a buyer's market or a seller's market or um, what, you know, current the current climate is for mortgages or appraisals or anything that is going on in the market. And then three, of course, exposure is so, so important. If you don't have any exposure, your price is going to have to be much lower. And then fourth, property features. You know, if you have a brand new roof that was installed by a licensed contractor, all new appliances, updated kitchen, you know, a buyer is willing to pay more for that than they are willing to pay for a project home. And then of course, number five are the terms that you offer. So if you're willing to offer, you know, some better terms for a buyer, depending on what they are and what the buyer is interested in, then that can definitely go into the price that you're negotiating. But some things that don't come into effect when pricing your home are how much you bought it for, what type of investments you made into the property, and what you want to profit from the property. So of course, as a seller, you do not have to sell your home. So if you're looking to get a certain amount, then you can totally wait until the market is able to provide that for you. But if the market's not currently able to provide that for you, then now is not a good time to sell if the if the facts and the stats don't say that that's what you're going to be able to get out of your house. And then back to the investments made in the property. If the investments were 15, 20 years ago and the kitchen's outdated and a buyer's gonna have to come in again and update them, then it's really irrelevant to what we're incorporating into the price. We're looking for things that a current buyer is searching for and we are going to price off of those 
facts. So like I've talked about in other videos, this is if you price your home at a fair market value, this is the buyer pool that you have. If you price below market value, then you have a bigger buyer pool. And if you price above market value, you have a smaller buyer pool. So it's so, so important to make sure that you are pricing at, at least fair market value to make sure that you are getting the most exposure as possible. Some things that we're going to consider when pricing out your house is, of course, we're gonna look at the comps, but what are we gonna look at? The same thing that an appraiser is gonna look at, the same thing that a buyer is gonna look at. You know, if a buyer is searching for a house that's priced at 350, we're gonna look at all of the houses that sold for 350 and that are currently listed for 350 so we can get an idea as to what they're going to be seeing when they're coming to your house. We're gonna be looking at properties that have ideally the same amount of bedrooms and bathrooms as yours, the close to the same square footage, um, ideally within a mile distance if we're in Ukiah, and then of course homes with similar amenities as yours. So it's super important that you're working with an agent, like I said, that is educated on the current market conditions in your area and understands what is going on in the market and is also dealing with buyers that are in the market so they they can give you the feedback that they're receiving from their buyers each time they go and show a house. So I hope this gives you some insight into what you're going to talk to an agent about when selling your house. Um, of course, every agent is very different. These are some things that I like to cover because it's you know very rare that a person selling their house frequently and I want to make sure that you're as educated as possible so that you understand what you're getting yourself into. There are so many times when I go onto the MLS and see a caption written with incorrect spelling or switching constantly between first and third person and it doesn't make sense and listing photos with a person in the mirror picture or even just a weird layout of the photos and I mean it's 2020 we can definitely provide virtual tours and virtual media for our sellers this is not something we should be slacking on if you're going to pay an agent you might as well pay for one that's going to put the effort into your home and is going to get it sold as fast as possible for for as much money as possible. So thanks for listening to me rant for a long time. If you have any questions about selling your house, there's a link down below that you can get a free comparable market analysis report from. And um, of course, if you have any questions, want me to come check out your house before you list it to see what you can do to improve the value, please give me a call. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.